gosh, I just missed like competitive soccer. Yeah. But I, I write about how high performance is chasing that competitiveness. Mm -hmm. And when we look at some of the best high performing female athletes in the world, like Serena Williams, she always wanted to compete. Mm -hmm. And in order for her to raise the bar on her performance, she always had to train with people better than her or play against people better than her. And that that's how you become a true high performer is you don't necessarily run away from stress. You lean into it and you get better because of it. I love that. Yeah. I mean, if you, if you lean away from it, like you're not going to grow your that fear or whatever it is, is just going to get bigger. So I love that. Um, I, I'd love to see Eric. I know you, you wanted to maybe share your screen, uh, to share some things with the book. So if you're, if you're watching or if you're listening on, you know, Spotify or Apple, uh, head over to YouTube, if you want to see, um, some of the visuals here of, of Erica's book. So Erica, oh, we got it. We got the screen share. So I'll let you, um, just kind of, you know, share, uh, what you want to share with the, this, uh, screen share. So here's the cover. <laughs> um, super cool. uh, she, you know, she did an amazing job. I actually used her for my first book, and I, I wanted it pretty similar to the, the first book cover with the, the topography, but since it's all about high performance, I wanted it to be more electric yeah, <laughs> and I just kind of pop. And uh, it's actually going to be released in uh, paperback and hardcover just because awesome. it's so big. And I'm going to release it in a uh, color because there's pictures in the book. So it's going to be a, a color book, which will be really nice. So exciting. I'm really excited <laughs> and it will only be available on Amazon. Okay. That's what I was going to ask. Okay. So it'll be available. Will it be available? Uh, ebook too? Yes. Like Kindle. Okay. Yep. So we got ebook, paperback, and uh, hardcover. Very cool. And then, what is drum roll? Uh, I know this may change, but what is your planned uh, release date? So, this podcast, when you're listening to it, it's November twenty second. What is the uh, release date for this? So, <laughs> I I want everyone to enjoy their Thanksgiving holiday. But if you have time on Black Friday <laughs> to hop over to Amazon and get the book, because it will be $20 off from Black Friday through Cyber oh, awesome. Monday. So you have to take advantage of the sale. So make sure you get on it Black Friday when you're just kind of lounging around with your family and you're ready to, to get the book and dive in. So that's the plan. Um, it should it should be available by then. I I'm pretty sure it's done. I've <laughs> my, my book editor and formatter are probably so mad at me. I've had They're done with probably a <laughs> hundred edits in the past week, but Man. it's cl it's close. And with this book, I, I'm not chasing perfectionism, but I want to get close because yeah. I just want every sentence to really speak to everyone because I know how short attention spans are now. <laughs> <laughs> And I know like not everyone can sit through a whole book, but like I have reread every sentence of the book 10 times. Yeah. So if you can imagine, it's taken several hours to do that, but the plan is Black Friday. So hopefully we're good for that day. I love that. And, and one, one last thing that I, I, that I wanted to ask you, uh, I, it was in an Instagram video, I think, where you're talking about like the difference between your first book and second book and the, and where your second book, you were like more, um, meticulous, right. And like a bit more like discipline with edits and stuff. And I just was like, so resonated with that. Like my first, well, I don't have a second book yet. Um, but my first book, I'm like, wow, I, I, I like breeze through the edits. There was some like stuff that I miss. I wasn't super, to be honest, I wasn't super disciplined with, um, edits and stuff like that. So I, I think you're, um, your first one is probably a little bit more disciplined than mine. I I'm not much of a writer. Um, but I just thought that was interesting how, like, once you get your second book, you're like, okay, I've done this before. Now it's like, I'm going to really going to like go deep and like lay into it. It's funny when you do your first book, you, you're just so you excited know. to get it yeah. out. Yeah. You don't yeah. know. And then you're just like, oh, I just want to get this out there. It's so exactly. awesome. But then you get a copy of it. <laughs> and a lot of people might not catch the mistakes, but you're just like, oh, I should have changed that one. <laughs> yeah. I had and, to go through and make some edits, uh, the first couple months. Yeah. My, yeah. It's, but it, it's, it's nice when you have control on the back end of Amazon, but mm -hmm. even 
some of the best selling authors. I will catch mistakes in their books. You do, yeah. It happens to everyone. Like, it's really crazy. Even if you have the best editing team, right. humans make mistakes. But yeah. I truly think with this one, oh, it's so much, so much better. Because I took so much time to yeah. to really read through every sentence. Yeah, and 